uh, doing a quick check-in about Mr. Grant. I dropped Mr. Grant and Mozzie off at the surgical center uh, at 8.30 this morning. Well, more closer to 9. Um, it's about 11.30 now, 11.39. Um, and I'm on my way to pick up Mozzie because he's done with his blood work and urine test and all that they had to do. Uh, they had to do a stim test, I think is what it's called for uh, his Cushing's disease. So he had to stay a little longer than usual. So, um, but update on Mr. Grant. Mr. Grant is having surgery today. Mr. Grant is going to get his mass removed, but he's also going to get his gallbladder removed. Uh, she said his gallbladder is worse than before and it needs to come out. So, um, yeah, so he is having surgery today. Now he will probably not be coming home till Thursday, possibly Friday because Mr. Grant is 13 and a half years old. So this is a, it was a major surgery for Mozzie when he had his gallbladder out. And I think Mozzie was seven or eight when he had his gallbladder out and Grant is 13 and a half. So, um, everybody please say prayers for Mr. Grant um, that he gets through this and he heals fast for a fast recovery so he can start running in the backyard again and playing and enjoying life. Um, oh, it's been a stressful morning <laughs> because uh, I didn't know, Dr. Cohn Kane didn't tell me that his, I believe it's his calcium count was up. Um, and that can indicate cancer. Um, so uh, they ran another test and their test came back normal. So, um, but they are going to do a CT scan before surgery and they're gonna be looking for all that before um, and looking at the gallbladder again before they even do surgery. So <coughs> the surgery is gonna cost a lot, you guys, a lot. And I think the couple people who wanted to remain anonymous, I thank you for your donations the past couple days. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I was kind of surprised at the cost they told me, uh, but she said since he's an, I guess because he's an older dog, I don't know. Um, I don't know why that would affect price, but she, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't even care because Mr. Grant is worth every penny. Yes, he is. He's worth every penny. Um, so yeah, he's having surgery today and I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up Mozzie right now and then I will pop back on later. I'm not sure what time they're doing it. It's actually gonna be the surgeon who did Mozzie's gallbladder removal. Um, he moved out of town, but I guess he's back in town covering um, somebody else who's out of town. <laughs> so he must not have moved too far out of state wherever he moved to. Um, so um, I love Dr. Doyle. Um, he was great with Mozzie and I'm so happy that it just happened that he was in town so he can take care of Mr. Grant. So that was like, God put him there, didn't he? Um, I gotta stop talking because I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying and I'm almost to the surgical center and they're gonna think, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you a mess? Oh, so you guys, please say huge prayers for him. And like I said, I will pop back on um, when they call me when the surgery's over. Um, yeah, so, all right, we're here. I'll let you guys see, I don't know, if you're new viewers, you might not know what I'm talking about when I say the surgical center, but this is it right here. Animal Surgical Center of Michigan. So, let's go get Mr. Mozzie. Okay, guys, it's about... I think it's about 3 30 oh. and i just talked to dr doyle grant is out of surgery um he said he did really good he got the gallbladder out he uh took a sample of the liver um he got the mass off he said the mass is kind of concerning to him um looking like a, a melanoma possibly and he said it doesn't look as benign as others he's taken out so we won't know what's going on with that mass until we can get it biopsied. He said he's pretty sure. He said he thinks his lines where he cut it out were pretty good. He said he didn't want to do too much. Um, he didn't want to cause any damage. Maybe to the muscle. Uh, he didn't really say to what. Maybe to the muscle. Maybe that it was connected to. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, he said just let's not worry about that right now. Let's get him through this. Getting his gallbladder out get him through this surgery and getting him healed up and we will deal with whatever 
maybe treatment will have to do with that later and maybe none possibly none so let's keep our fingers crossed that it is benign and he got it all out and he'll be okay from that um yeah so just wanted to jump on real quick and say he is out of surgery and everything went good so i'm gonna end the video here they are supposed to call me again later on uh, in a couple hours just to give me another update on them um, but I'm going to end the video here because uh, I need to get some work done in my house. My house is in complete chaos. <laughs> complete chaos since yesterday. I've done nothing because when I'm stressed out, I do nothing. I did go up to the pet pantry, did do some stuff up there. Um, got that all organized because we got had a lot of donations come in and I'm so grateful because we had a lot of families in yesterday getting help for their pets. Um, so I got it all restocked um, and that helped keep my mind off things a little, um, thinking about something else. So helped pass the time while I was waiting for the call from Dr. Doyle. So, all right guys, thank you guys so much for all your prayers on Facebook and on the community page on my post. Thank you to those who have donated. Um, I appreciate it so much. I've, I've had some mail come in. I haven't even been able to share it with you guys yet. So things may not get back to normal with my videos until maybe next week. Um, yeah, I got to get, because you know, whenever my dogs have any kind of surgery or anything, I have to disinfect everything. Because if you guys remember, I shared Mozzie's um, suture area where they cut him open for his gallbladder. And it's pretty big. It's a pretty big area and I want to make sure where I'm going to keep them because I'm going to set up a little area like I do all the time. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know, I set up a little recovery area and I make sure it is clean because you don't want any kind of infection on that suture area. Just like with a person when they have surgery. So um, that's what I'm going to be working on um, when he gets home. And I should mention too, in the previous clip I was seeing, I don't know why it's costing so much more. The reason why is, is probably because they're going to keep him longer. Look at him. <laughs> what are those, Milo? What are those little moths or whatever? What is that? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, the reason why it's going to cause some more is they're going to be keeping him longer than Mozzie. If I remember, Mozzie only stayed one night, I think. They were like, he's ready to go home. We think he'll do better recovering at home because Mozzie cries and cries and cries. He does not like being in a cage um, at the vet's office. So I'm pretty sure he came home after one night and Grant's for sure gonna be there too, possibly three. So that's why Grant's surgery is costing more than Mozzie. Um, they told, I don't think I mentioned in the video, I did on my Facebook post. She quoted me anywhere between 5,000 to $6,500 uh, for this. So, but him being older, he may have to be there a little longer. Uh, to recoup so all right guys i will talk to you guys again as soon as i can and give you any more info i can maybe not tomorrow possibly thursday so i hope everyone's having a great week and keep seeing prayers for mr grant he's gonna need them thank you